Have you ever wondered how to dive into the world of crypto with just $100? I'm sure you have. Well, in the world of cryptocurrency, large investments are not a necessity, and even $100 can be a great start. In this video, I'll be discussing the secrets to the easiest way to start investing in crypto in 2024. I'm talking about the legit ones, not scams and fakes. The best part is that there's no PhD in blockchain required. Welcome to Crypto Bookworm, your go-to channel for easy-to-grasp crypto education. My name is Jim, and I'm here to break down the complexities of the digital asset world into bite-sized animated lessons. I believe crypto is the future of finance, and I want to help you make sense of it all. Before we dive in, here's a quick reminder. Crypto carries risks. You need to do your own research or consult a financial advisor for more informed decisions on your crypto journey. With that out of the way, let's move on. Cryptocurrency is like digital cash. It's money, but online and decentralized, meaning it's not issued, backed, or regulated by a central authority like the U.S. government. You could picture it as your physical wallet going digital, or digital money that uses complex computer codes for security. It's stored on a decentralized network, which is like a shared online ledger that keeps track of all transactions. It's also an avenue for investment, and just like other investment assets, it can be bought with the aim of financial returns. From Bitcoin's birth, the crypto world has blossomed. It's a dynamic market, full of opportunities. New coins pop up, and the market expands. This year, it's not just going to be about Bitcoin anymore. There are many others, and the crypto garden is buzzing with activity. In the crypto world, things change fast, like the weather. Staying informed is like having a weather app for crypto. It helps you know when to bring your umbrella, which is like securing your investments, or when to enjoy the sunshine, by seizing opportunities. Imagine you're on a road trip. The first thing you need is a clear destination. Setting investment goals is like choosing your destination, guiding your investment journey to reach a specific financial place. There are short-term investing plans and long-term investing plans. Short-term investing is like catching a bus for a quick ride, jumping on and off. Long-term investing is more like planting a tree. It takes time to grow, but eventually you'll have a sturdy tree which is a healthy investment. But then again, you should only consider cryptocurrency as an investment if you believe in its long-term prospects and are willing to ride out large price swings. So when you invest, it's important to take a long-term perspective. This is because, for cryptocurrencies, coins can quickly go up or down in value. In 2017, I got $500 worth of Ethereum. If I'd wanted a quick thrill, I would have gotten on and right off the ride, making it a short-term investment. But because I had a long-term perspective, I preferred the scenic route with some twists and turns. I decided to stay on the road for the long haul, which was a long-term investment. In January of 2022, the value of my investment was about $5,000. When investing in cryptocurrency, you must be willing to choose between a quick adrenaline rush or a slow, enjoyable journey. Just as I began with $500, with only $100, you can make it big in crypto too. Do you want to follow and cash in on a trend? Or do you have a thought-out strategy in mind? Remember, there's no such thing as an easy way to make a lot of money without risk. You need to be strategic. Diversify your investment across different cryptocurrencies to spread risk and increase potential gains. For instance, you could choose to invest $50 in Bitcoin and $50 in Dogecoin. But then again, crypto can be volatile. Even the biggest and most well-known cryptocurrencies can have big price swings up and down. It's important to never invest more than you can afford to lose. That's a golden rule in this space. Now, let's look at choosing a cryptocurrency exchange. Choosing the right platform is crucial. In choosing a platform, you must consider the security measures, trading fees and limits, supported cryptocurrencies, user experience and interface, customer support, regulatory compliance, and reputation and trustworthiness. These factors are important when choosing the right platform, and it's essential to have a thorough understanding of each factor to make a more informed decision. In the current crypto landscape, platforms like Crypto.com, Coinbase, and Kraken stand out the most for their user-friendly interfaces and reliability. Now let me dig into creating and securing your crypto wallet. But before I do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can catch our new video on crypto wallets when it's released. You won't want to miss it. Anyway. There are two types of wallets in the digital space, hot wallets and cold wallets. Hot wallets are online or software wallets connected to the internet, suitable for frequent transactions. You can think of them as your everyday wallet, accessible and convenient. If you sign up for a Coinbase account, you automatically receive a Coinbase software wallet. Cold wallets are offline wallets, 
They're actual physical devices, and they provide extra security as they aren't constantly connected to the internet. They mainly come in the form of USB flash drives. Here's how you can set up your wallet. First, choose a wallet type. Decide between a hot or cold wallet based on your needs. Next, for hot wallets, download a reputable app like Exodus, Electrum, or Trust Wallet. For cold wallets, always purchase directly from the manufacturer such as Ledger, Trezor, or KeepKey. Do not purchase a cold wallet from a third-party retailer, not even Amazon. Wallets sold by third parties could potentially contain malware. Then you create an account. For the hot wallet, create an account and transfer your assets. For the cold wallet, ensure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully during the installation process in order to ensure that the wallet is set up correctly. Then, transfer your cryptocurrency. Finally, you'll secure your seed phrase. Write down and store your seed phrase, a set of words, offline. This is crucial for wallet recovery if needed. After setting up your wallet, there are other security measures you might need. Remember to update your wallet regularly. Always keep your wallet software up to date in order to benefit from the latest security features. You might also need to consider backing up your wallet's private keys or seed phrase in a secure location. And don't forget to enable 2FA whenever possible for an extra layer of security. Now let's look at making your first purchase with $100. If you're wondering how to invest in cryptocurrency for the first time, the following four steps can get you started. 1. Choose an exchange. Select a reputable cryptocurrency exchange platform. There's Crypto.com, Kraken, Coinbase, and more. Remember, do your own research. 2. Create an account by signing up with the required details, and then you'll be ready to choose what cryptocurrency to invest in. You'll want to understand and carefully evaluate the various unique characteristics of each cryptocurrency that you're considering investing in. You may choose to invest in one or several different cryptocurrencies. In order to avoid pump and dump schemes, avoid smaller or newer cryptos that are being heavily promoted on social media platforms. 3. Decide how much to invest. You must only invest what you can afford to lose. The amount you choose to put into crypto will depend on many factors, such as your budget, risk tolerance, and investing strategy. Focus on the total amount of money you want to invest rather than the number of coins you want to buy. 4. Transfer funds from your bank account to the exchange and place an order. When diving into crypto investing, it's crucial to understand two key concepts, market orders and limit orders. A market order means buying or selling immediately at the current market price, while a limit order sets a specific price target to execute your buy or sell order waiting for the market to hit that price. For beginners or first-time investors, starting small is wise. This approach allows you to gain exposure to the investment process without significant risk. But it's not just about the investment size. Thorough research is essential. Know your chosen cryptocurrency well and stay informed about its market trends. Once you invest, keeping track of your portfolio is essential. Several tools can help with this, such as Binance, Coinbase, BitMEX, IDEX, Coinigy, Trade Dash, and TradingView. These platforms offer various features to monitor and manage your crypto investments effectively. Besides these tools, remember to regularly check news, forums, and other official channels to stay informed about market trends. As a beginner, avoid making impulsive decisions driven by fear or excitement and do not ignore your wallet security. Be cautious of fake websites and emails trying to steal your information. Use secure channels and avoid sharing sensitive information online. Remember, the crypto world can be exciting, but taking measured steps and staying informed will contribute to a safer and more successful experience. And congratulations! You've just unlocked the easiest way to start investing in crypto with $100. Remember, patience is your best friend on this journey. You need to keep your eyes wide open, do your research, and never let excitement or emotion cloud your reasoning. I hope I've made this confusing topic easier for you to understand. If you found it helpful, a thumbs up and subscribing is always appreciated. For those of you who might be skeptical about games offering quick cash, I can tell you that Pixels changed my mind. Discover how to earn real money in gaming by checking out my previous video.